Hey yogis, how you doing? My name is Martin. Welcome to today's beautiful driveway practice. Today's practice, a full body opening here, a energizing practice. Maybe a lot of us lately have been sitting indoors, typing on the computer, you know, creating a little unhealthy posture. And today's practice is gonna be all about opening up the shoulders, the chest, and really bringing a little bit of natural energy back into the body. Always, we want to come into the practice with a beginner's mind. Let go of the expectations of how you think you should feel, how your body should look. Always listen to your body. If anything feels a little bit off or it's not supposed to be there, it's all right. Our sun is our guide. It's a journey. And we're all in it together. Now let's start. You can sit right at the front of the mat, cross-legged seated position, thumb and index finger kiss, and bring the palms face up on the knees and we close the eyes. We do a couple shoulder rolls and then we relax the shoulders down the back. With our eyes closed, we're going to take a moment to become a little more present. Can you bring that awareness inside? Letting go of ideas of what we should do later, maybe things we did yesterday or this morning. Really bring yourself into this moment. This moment is where everything happens. It's the only moment that really counts. Now, focus that awareness down to your feet. Bring the mind into the feet. Feel the skin touching the mat. Remember, wherever you are, easiest way, become present. We notice what's going on physically on the body. That mind in our feet. You slowly move it up the shins. Feel that skin. Feel the knees. Bring that awareness over those knees down into your hips. Do they feel tight? Do they feel loose? Try and root into the mat. Connect down a little bit more. Find grounding. With the spine in the center, maybe the crown of the head now sits a little taller. Shoulders a little broader out to the side, really opening that heart center. All together now, big inhale through the nose, all the way up, fill the body, and at the top we hold the breath. This is called Kumbhaka. I like to start here. We're energizing the blood, creating a space in our lungs. Exhale out the mouth. Another big inhale through the nose, fill the lungs, feel the ribs expand out to the side, and at the top we hold. We create space for more air, but for that life force, that prana energy. Exhale out the mouth. Sealing our lips, cultivating our ujjayi breath. Slight constriction of the back of the throat. Think about those muscles you use when you fog up a mirror, your glasses, that But we keep the mouth sealed. Every breath in and out through the nose carries a beautiful sound, the sound of a wave of the ocean. Bringing the palms to kiss Anjali Mudra, holding them heart center. Let's take this time, set an intention for today's practice, a dedication. This can be simple, it can be a thought, it could be a feeling. Maybe it's for a special person in our life. And this intention, this dedication, it's so important. It brings meaning to our practice. It also serves as a root, as an anchor down. Our mind, it's going to wander. You bring it back to this intention. You bring it back to that beautiful sound of your breath here today. Thinking hard about that intention. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale it out the mouth, releasing it out into the universe. 
Sealing our lips, Ujjayi breath starts, eyes flutter open. Inhale, arms reach up, clasping the hands overhead, reaching those palms up to the sky. Shoulders roll back and reach up through those palms. Feel the stretch from the wrist down through the arm, really keeping those sit bones firmly rooted into the mat. Inhale, palms lift a little higher. Exhale, palms behind the head. Rest the head like a pillow. Elbows out to the side. Open the shoulders. Heart opens to the front. Inhale, big long spine. Exhale, shifting to the right. Halfway down, bottom palm drops. Top arm reaches up and over. Remember, every inhale we lengthen, we gain space. Try and lengthen out to the side, but keep both sit bones firmly rooted on the earth reaching out through the tips of the fingers. Big breath in. Exhale, coming back to center. Inhale, fill the body. Exhale, shifting opposite side. Halfway down, bottom palm drops, top arm up and over. We lengthen. We feel that spine expand to the side. One rib at a time, really open on that breath in. Nice inhale. Exhale, coming back to center. Palms behind the hips, fingertips face forward. Inhale, hips lift up, shoulders roll back. Lifting up through the heart as you press down into the palms. Feel the feet, the shins rooting into the mat. Can you find a grounding whenever we touch the earth? Lifting up through the body. One more breath in, lifting a little higher. Exhale, hips slowly coming down. Palm by palm, walk the torso forward. Lengthening out through the tips of the fingers, crown of the head reaches forward, then down. Maybe a slight forward pressure with the palms. This really helps the sit bones root down into the air. We're folding at the hip, feeling those sensations, always guiding the breath towards any tight areas. One more, inhale. Exhale, rising up palm by palm, switching the rotation in our feet, opposite foot in front, palms behind the hips, fingertips forward. Inhale, hips lift up, shoulders roll back. Breathing deep. I like to imagine that breath coming right down the center line of the body, right into the heart. One more breath in. Exhale, hips slowly return down. And then palm by palm, walk the torso forward. Lengthening out through that crown of the head, reaching it forward, then we fold at the hips. Take a time here. Notice sensations. Does this side feel a little different? That awareness we try and keep within the body, bringing our mind, physical sensations. Exhale, palm by palm, walk the torso, nice upright position. We roll over the knees as we come into a nice neutral tabletop. Palms right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips, and keep the fingers wide. Really grip the mat, find connection, find rooting down. With an inhale, right arm lifts right out to the front. Exhale, left leg out the back. Toes flex, pointing down. We want to create length out through the tips of our fingers. But we want to root firmly into the palm, into that lower leg. Belly tucks in, back leg nice and strong. Inhale, arm and leg a little higher. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away. Knee to the elbow, curl the back. Inhale, we lengthen out. Exhale, round it in, knee to the elbow, curl the back. Inhale, lengthen out. 
Exhale, rounded and knee to the elbow, belly engages. Inhale, lengthen out. This time we bend the left knee. Right arm reaches around, grabbing for that pinky edge of the toe. And kick the foot into the hand, opening the heart out to the side. Maybe if it feels all right, we gaze back towards that foot and hand. Rooting down into the earth. Try and lift the heart a little higher. Big breath in. Exhale, release the hand. And then we bring it back down. Nice neutral tabletop here. Very good. Find connection. Find rooting. Inhale, left arm reaches to the front. Exhale, right leg out the back. Root down. Connect. Trying our best to form a nice straight line from those fingers out through the heel. But remember, it's just a guide. We listen to the body. Inhale, arm and leg a little higher. Exhale, round the spine, knee to the elbow, push the earth away. Inhale, we lengthen out. Exhale, round it in, knee to the elbow. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, round it in. Inhale, lengthen. Bending the right knee, left arm reaches around, grabbing for that pinky edge of the foot. And we cook that foot into the hand. Open the heart out to the sun. Maybe not trying to stare into the sun. Breathing deep, connect into the earth. Very nice. One more breath in. Exhale, releasing the arm and leg. Bringing it down, nice neutral tabletop. Drop the belly. Lift the hips, the heart, and the gaze. Tuck the toes under. We float the shins, the hips up and back, first downward dog of today. Since it's the first downward dog, let's bring a movement into the sasana. So nice pedaling the feet, to wagging the hips side to side. Palms in line with the shoulders, fingers wide, grip the mat, find connection through the knuckles. You want to try and alleviate pressure on the crease of the wrist by rooting into the knuckles, by lifting the hips up and back. So we extend that right heel a little further down. Left heel extends a little further down. Feet just about in line with the hips. As we come into stillness, this beautiful downward shaped V. Where's the breath? Bending the knees, gazing to the hands, walking the feet right up behind the palms. Big toes kiss in the center. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine here, fingertips to the shins or the earth. Really open the heart forward, keep the thighs engaged. Exhale, forward fold, root through the feet. Inhale, rise vertebrae by vertebrae. Maybe slightly bending the knees, pressing down into the feet, keeping the spine in the center, nice and balanced. We get to the top, arms reach up overhead, watch the palms kiss. Exhale, hands down to the heart. Samastitihi. Inhale, palms reach up, watch them kiss overhead. Exhale, folding at the hips, Uttanasana, crown of the head reaches forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, thighs engage, kneecaps lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, holding our first high plank. Basically, top of the push-up. Palms underneath the shoulders, fingers nice and wide. Really grip the mat down with those fingers. Keep the belly engaged. Keep the thighs nice and strong. Visualize the balls of the feet connecting a little further as you press down into those hands. Very good. You could always drop the knees. We could always drop the forearms if it feels better. Inhale, shift forward on the tippy toes. Exhale, halfway down, Chaturanga, shoulders in line with the elbows, tops of the feet go down, arms extend up dog, shoulders over the wrist, heart opens. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog, five nice breaths here. Root those knuckles down, find the breath. Let that breath soothe the body, that ujjayi, it lights that fire, that agni we have inside. Ah. 
Remember every breath has a subtle movement throughout the body. Bending the knees, gazing towards the hands. Step, jump, float, walk our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, heart open. Exhale, forward fold, pressing to the feet, inhale, rising up. A little faster now, palms reach up, watch them kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastitihi, time to flow that sequence. Breath to movement, Surya Namaskar A, saluting the sun. Inhale, arms reach up, watch them kiss overhead. Exhale, folding at the hips, Uttanasana, crown of the head, forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows hug in. Inhale, up dog, press through hands and feet, heart opens. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Press through the feet, inhale, rise up. Maybe tiny back bend at the top this time as the palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, nice long breath all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, shoulders out to the side, heart open. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Press through the feet, energy rising through the body. Watch the palms kiss overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastitihi. Bending the knees, Ukatasana. Chair pose. Sitting down our nice little chair here. First, take a peek at those toes. Can we see them past the knees? If not, hip shins a little further back. Lift the toes. Find four corner connection with those feet. Then bring the toes down. Thighs are strong, belly tucks in. Long spine out the crown of the head. Pinkies wrap forward. Very good, sitting down. Find strength, but lengthen up through the crown of the head. Beautiful, clasping the hands behind the back. Inhale, shoulders roll back, heart opens. Exhale, folding at the hip, rest the heart on the thighs for a moment. And then lengthen the legs, arms up and over. Breathing into the shoulders. Keep the thighs engaged, crown of the head reaching down. Very good. Release the hands down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, stepping the right foot all the way back. Back right knee comes down. Inhale, arms come up. Modified crescent lunge, Anjali Asana. Maybe we scoot the hips a little more forward and down. Front knee right over the ankle. Arms are up, shoulders down our back. Very good. Letting the palms kiss now, bending the elbows, bringing those palms right in the center of our back. And we could stay here as option one. Option two, we press into the feet and we lift up and back. Opening the heart towards the sky. Keeping the breath nice and long. Engage the right glute muscle. Keep the belly strong. Very good. One more, inhale. Exhale, coming up to center. Reaching the arms up. Back toes tuck. Float the knee off the earth. Front knees right over the ankle. Bend the back knee for a moment. Bring the shoulders over the hips, and then lengthen that back leg. Very good. Press out through the back heel. Mm. 
Big breath in. Exhale, back knee comes down, open the arms to cactus, and then lift the heart up towards the sky. Inhale, lift the back leg, rise up. Exhale, back knee comes down, heart opens. Inhale up. Exhale, open the heart. Inhale up. Exhale, arms down, lengthen the front leg. Find a little space as you reach the heart towards the thigh. Where's the breath? Very good. Bending the front knee, gazing forward, shifting the weight forward into that left foot, Float the back right leg off the mat, reaching the arms forward, coming into our Vira Bhadrasana three, warrior three, back toes flex pointing down. Very good. Belly tucks in, bottom leg can be straight or bent. Find a point that we focus our drishti, finding the balance. One more inhale. Exhale, rising up, right knee, lifting up to the heart. And then we flex the foot, bring it over the thigh as we sit down, our figure four. Finding balance through that bottom foot. Very good. Oh. Remember, we have fun. It's what it's all about. Lifting up through the heart, sinking the hips down. Very good. One more, inhale. Exhale, rising up, knee to heart center. Then we place the foot down. Very good, inhale, arms reach up. Watch the palms kiss, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, bending the knees, taking the first two fingers and the thumb, wrapping it around the big toe. Thumb on the outside of the toe. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Elbows out to the side, Padangustasana. Crown of the head reaches down. You can always bend the knees if it feels a little better. But we want the legs engaged. Always when we stretch, we keep the muscles strong. Crown of the head reaches down, elbows out to the side. Use the hands. Can you reach the heart a little closer to the legs? One more. Inhale. Exhale. Halfway lift. Release the toes. Very good. Rooting through the feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Watch the palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastiti. Inhale, arms reach up. Watch those palms kiss. Exhale, folding at the hips. Uttanasana, crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice long spine. Exhale, left foot steps all the way back. Left knee comes down. Inhale, arms come up. Modified Anjaliasana, modified crescent lunge. Maybe we sink those hips a little forward and down. Front knee right over that ankle. Arms are up, shoulders down the back. Very good. Connect into the earth. Remember, find connection. Every asana, every pose, first you connect, then use the breath, guide the body. Palms kiss and palms come down right to the center of the back. Open the shoulders out to the side. We could stay here. Option one. Option two, lift up and back. Engaging left glute muscle this time. Reaching up with the heart, feeling the open space in our chest. One more inhale. Exhale, coming back to center. Arms up, we tuck the back toe. Float the knee off the earth. Front knee 
right over that ankle, bend the back knee, bring the shoulders over those hips, and we lengthen that leg. Arms are up, shoulders down the back. Anjali Asana, crescent lunge opposite side. If it feels better, you can always bend that back knee. Listen to the body. Breathe into the tight areas. One more, big breath in. Exhale, back knee comes down. Cactus the arms, open the heart to the sky. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee comes down. Cactus arms, open the heart. Inhale up. Exhale, knee comes down, open the heart. Inhale up. Exhale, front leg straightens, arms down to the earth, folding over that front leg. Use the breath here, guide the body into calm. Find peace by lengthening the breath. Trying to find that serene, that calm breath in which we started today. Very good. Bending that front knee, shifting the weight forward over the foot, float the back leg up. Arms reach forward. Vira Bajrasana three, warrior three. Back toes flex down the best we can. Nice long spine. Finding the drishti, the point of focus. One more, inhale. Exhale, rising up with the heart. Floating, oh, the left knee up towards the chest. Flex the foot, bring it over the thigh. Oh boy, and we sink down. You see, we have fun wherever we are. We don't judge here. Beautiful. Sitting down, palms press, heart center, figure four. Breathing into the hips, finding a straight spine. Beautiful, one more, inhale. Exhale, right leg lengthens, left knee up to the heart, arms lift. Exhale, left foot down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, bend the knees. Bring the feet right in line with the hips. And we're gonna come into Pada Hastasana, bringing the padas, the feet on the hastas, the hands. Lifting the foot, palm face up, bring it underneath the foot so the toes come right to the crease of the wrist. With an inhale, halfway lift. Maybe we lengthen, engage the thighs. Exhale, forward fold. Crown of the head's reaching down. Legs are engaged. If there's any trouble with the toes, to the crease in the wrist, we can bend the knees, that's okay, but we keep the thighs engaged. Crown of the head reaches down, elbows out to the side. Where's our breath? Very nice. One more, long inhale, melt the heart a little closer to the legs. Exhale, halfway lift, long spine release, one hand at a time. Hands to our hips, inhale, rise, nice straight spine. Very good. Inhale, arms reach up, watch the palms kiss. Exhale, folding at the hips. Uttanasana, crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot steps about halfway back this time. Front leg lengthens. Bring our hands to our hips. Rise nice straight spine. Taking a little reverse prayer, bringing the palms to kiss in the center of our back. If this is too much, we can always grab opposite elbows here. Ever feels better. With an inhale, nice straight spine. Exhale, reaching forward over that front left leg. Pull the left hip back, both hips square, and now bring the heart down. 
Very good. Gazing towards the big toe. Front leg is engaged. Tiny micro bend. We don't want to lock out the knee. Very good. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rising. Nice straight spine rooting into the feet. Releasing the hands out to the side. Inhale, arms reach up. Stopping in line with the shoulders. Exhale, shift forward. Nice parallel torso to the earth. Left hip down to the left. Left hand to the left hip. Pull it back. Both hips in line with each other. Reach forward with the right hand. Now bringing it down, either inside, outside that front foot. Lifting the heart over that leg. Twist to the left. Open the heart out to the side. Left arm reaches to the sky. Pavrita Trikonasana. Twisted triangle. We want to gaze up towards that top hand. I'm trying not to so I don't blind myself with the sun. Breathing deep here. Front leg engaged. Left hip pulls back. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand down. Hands to our hips. Inhale. Rise. Nice straight spine. Very good. Stepping the right foot up to meet the left. Hands by our side. Tadasana. Mountain pose. Inhale. Arms reach up. Watch those palms kiss. Exhale, folding at the hip, Uttanasana, crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, thighs are strong. Exhale, left foot steps about halfway back, and front leg lengthens. Hands to our hips, we inhale, rise, nice straight spine. Very good. Opposite elbows here. Maybe we took reverse prayer. Wherever we are, find length. Open the heart, shoulders broad. Inhale, fill the body. Exhale, shift forward over that front leg. Pull the right hip back and melt the body over the thigh. Gazing towards the foot. Pada Drishti. And breath is long and smooth. Rooting through those feet. Inhale, rise. Nice straight spine. Release the hands to the side. Inhale, arms reach up. Stopping in line with the shoulders. Exhale, halfway down. Torso parallel with the earth. Right hand down to the right hip. Pull it back. Both hips face forward. Left hand inside or outside the front foot. Right arm reaches to the sky. Pavrita Trikonasana, opposite side. Shoulders stack the best we can. Keep reaching forward with the crown of the head. Very nice. One more breath here. Exhale, top hand comes down. Hands to the hips. Inhale, rise, nice straight spine. Left foot steps right up to meet the other. Hands released to the side. Tadasana mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up. Watch the palms kiss. Exhale, folding at the hip, Uttanasana. Crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice long spine. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back, halfway down. Chyataranga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Open the heart, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes. Downward facing dog. Very good. Five nice long breaths here. Gazing to the heels. Slight internal rotation. Those heels should hide right behind the calves. Really root through the fingers. Extend through the shoulders. Very nice. Bending the knees, gazing towards the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Big toes kiss, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, rise up, Utkatasana chair pose. Sitting down our chair, find root through those feet. Very good. Inhale, palms kiss heart center. Exhale, shift forward. Body engage right over the thighs. Then use your torso, twist over to the right. Bring that elbow right outside the thigh. Both knees stay in line with each other. Palms press, heart opens to the side. Option one, we stay here. Option two, open the arms to the side. Shoulders roll back. One more breath here. Exhale, return to center. Forward fold. Grabbing opposite elbows. Bending at the knees. A nice little ragdoll pose. Gently sway from side to side with the breath. We always link that breath to the movement. Keeps our awareness inside. Keeps that mind really flowing into all the sensations in the body. Returning to center. Release the arms down. Inhale, Utkatasana chair pose. First connect, remember, then use the breath. Find length through the body. Palms kiss heart center. Exhale, shift forward. Use the core, twist to the left, elbow right outside the thigh. Make sure both knees, both hips face forward. Palms press. We try and stack the shoulders the best we can. Every inhale, gain length. Every exhale, twist a little further. Maybe we took option two, opening the arms out to the side. Very good. One more breath here. Exhale, return to center. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back. Halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, press through hands and feet. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right to the left wrist. Bring it down to the earth, and then bring that left knee, we tuck it behind, and we come down to a seated posture. I'm gonna face you guys so it's a little easier to see. We basically have knees stacking. We have our feet out to the side. Very nice. Right arm reaches up. We reach it down our back. Left arm reaches out to the side palm, faces behind us, and we bring it up as we connect the hands here. Clasping at the fingers. Maybe we use a shirt, a buckle with a strap. And we really want to be lengthening up through the spine. So maybe we take the back of the head, we press back into that arm. This is called Gomukhasana, or cow face pose. Option one, we can stay here with that shoulder rolling back. Or option two, we reach forward with the heart as we fold over the legs. Breathe into the hips. Breathe into the shoulders. Remember, our breath, it is the guide. It releases tension. It turns that tension into that life energy, that prana. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rising all the way up. Release the arms. And now here comes a fun part. As we press down into the feet, Lift the hips, rotate to the left, all the way behind us as we swivel on the feet. Coming back to center, keeping the feet where they are. We should now have come into Gomukhasana, opposite side. Both knees stack, feet out to either side. This time, left arm reaches up. We reach it down 
the middle of our back. Right arm out to the side, palm faces behind us. We bring it up the center of the back. We clasp the hands. Right shoulder rolls back, lifting up through the crown of the head. Press it into that top arm. Find length through the spine as you root through the hips. Very good. Option one, we stay here. Option two, reach the heart forward, lengthening over the legs as we fall down. Breathing into the hips, keeping the spine long. Keep pressing into that top arm. Very good. One more, long inhale. Exhale, rising all the way up. Release the arms, release the legs out to the front. Very good, maybe we give the arms, the legs, nice little wiggle, relieving any tension. Palms behind the hips, fingertips face forward. And with an inhale, we lift the hips, trying to bring the soles of the feet as close to the earth as we can. As we press into the palms, we lift up through the heart. The head can relax back, if not nice neutral spine, whatever feels better on the neck. Press down into the earth, try and lift the hips a little higher. One more, inhale. Exhale, hips coming down, flexing the toes. Palms out to either side of the hips. First, maybe let's take a little bum out from either side. This helps root our body down. The palms down by our side. We open the shoulders. Find length through the spine. Tuck the chin slightly. This is called Dandasana Staff Pose. Connecting into our breath. Front toes flex back, engage the legs. Try and press the heels down. Find rooting down through the legs, through the hip bones, but little to no pressure in the hands. Very nice. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching for the toes, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, folding down. We want to keep reaching for it. We're gaining length. It doesn't matter if you touch the toes. If we grab the ankles, the knees, the thighs. You want to just lengthen the spine. Remember, it doesn't matter how far we reach. If you feel a sensation, you are exactly where you need to be. Every inhale we lengthen, gazing towards the feet. This is called Pada Drishti. It keeps the spine long. Every exhale, a chance to surrender a little deeper. Very nice. One more. Long breath in. Exhale, rising all the way up. Bending the right knee. Right sole of the foot inside the thigh. Front toes flex back to the face. Bring the torso in line with this front leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching for the foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Chanu Shirshasana pose. Pulling back on that left hip, keeping the left leg engaged. Toes flex back. Here we want that gaze right in the center of the forehead. Brumaria Drishti. Legs stay strong. Right knee pressing down towards the earth. One more inhale. Exhale, release the foot rising all the way up. Bringing the torso now in line with the right knee. Left arm bending at the elbow, bring it down right inside that front left knee. We can bring the palm down facing it up and we open the heart out to the side. This is option one here. Option two, if we feel like we can go deeper, 
try and melt the body down towards the leg. Maybe that left arm grabs the big toe side of the foot. Right arm now can reach up and over, grabbing the pinky side as we try and rotate up through the heart. Taking that top right shoulder, trying to melt it down the back. Pavrita Janu Shirshasana. Very good. One more breath here. Exhale, releasing, rising all the way up. Right leg now extends out to the front. We can switch legs if we'd like a little more heat. Hands down by our side, crossing at the shins, lifting them up, bringing the heart towards, the knees towards the heart. Staying here, maybe pressing down, lifting up, and we bring it back down. Legs extend, left sole of the foot now inside the right thigh, left knee out to the side. Body in line with the torso in the front. The torso in line with that front leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching for the right foot. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Janu Shirshasana, opposite side. Right toes flex back. That awareness, center of the forehead. Pulling the right hip back, keeping the right leg nice and engaged. One more breath in. Exhale, release, rising all the way up. Bringing the torso now in line with the left knee. Right arm bends, right elbow inside the knee, palm down facing up. We open the heart out to the side and we drape the body over that leg. Option one, we stay here. Option two, maybe we grab the inside of the foot. Maybe that top arm was able to reach over, grab the pinky side as we gaze up and under the shoulder. Breathing deep, finding length out through the crown of the head. Using the breath, remember, guiding it towards the sensation. Releasing, opening with every inhale. One more, breath in. Exhale, release. Rising all the way up. Extending the front leg, the, and the, the bent knee out to the front. Give it a little shake. Releasing any tension. We could stay, maybe hands in line with the hips, floating the shins, crossing at the ankles, knees to the heart, picking up or pressing down, and then extending it out. Very good. Right knee bends, keeping the right sole of the foot basically in line with that hip. Lifting up through the spine, big inhale. Exhale, a little twist to the right. Trying to really hug the body first into the leg. We inhale, we gain length. Exhale, trying to look over that back shoulder. Option one, we could stay here. If we'd like a little more stretch, that left elbow right on the outside of the thigh. Keep those front toes flexing up towards the sky. Breathing deep, right hand. Down in line with our back hip. Keep lifting up through the spine, gaining length. Relax the muscles of the face. One more, inhale. Exhale, coming back to center. Right leg releases out, left knee bends. Left sole of the foot, right in line with the hip, front toes flex back. Long straight spine, inhale. Exhale, twisting to the left. Hug the body first into the leg and then lift up through the spine. Option one, we stayed here. Option two, elbow right outside the thigh. Left palm right behind the hips and we gaze over the back shoulder. We keep 
the shoulders broad. We keep lifting up through the heart. We breathe deep, even in the twists. One more. Inhale. Exhale, return to center. Release the leg out to the front. This time we're going to float the shins off the mat. Palms behind the knees. Navasana boat pose. This is option one. Option two, hands in line with the shins. Option three, that spicy version, we lengthen the legs. Lifting up through the heart, nice straight spine. Beautiful, belly engaged, tops of the thighs strong. Big breath in. Crossing at the shins, legs stay lifted, knees to the heart. Palms by our side, picking up, pressing down. We come into Navasana number two. Very good. Lift up through the heart, shoulders broad. Belly tucks in, where's that smooth breath? One more, inhale. Crossing at the shins, knees to the heart. Hands by our side, picking up or just pressing down your choice. Last one, here we go. We're holding this one five minutes. Just kidding, hopefully you laughed. Very good. Lift up through the heart, belly strong. One more, inhale. Exhale, use the belly. Roll it down, gently down to the mat. Ooh. Bending the knee. Soles of the feet right in line with the hips. Palms down by our side. We should be able to tickle those heels. We connect the palms down. We connect through the feet. We lift up through the hips. Bridge pose. Option one, we stay here with the palms down. Option two, we roll one shoulder at a time behind the back, clasping the hands. Keeping our feet rooted, we lift up through the hips. Slight internal rotation of the thighs. Chin away from the chest, spine stays long. Very good. Inhale a little higher. Exhale, release the hands. Roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Whew, finding connection with the spine down. Taking bridge number two, or option to take our full wheel pose. If we'd like to take our full wheel, we bring the palms down just about on the either side of the head in line with the shoulders. Keep the feet in line with the hips. Inhale, pressing up. Bring the crown of the head down. Find the positioning with your palms now through the feet. Inhale, lift up. Keep the internal rotation of the thighs. Gaze towards the hands, shoulders, down the back, open through the front of the body. Very nice. One more breath here. Exhale, chin to chest, roll it down. One vertebrae at a time. Let the spine naturally connect down first. Knees coming up to the chest. Nice little rolls here, clockwise. Gently massaging that lower back. Counterclockwise, opposite way. Very good. Keeping the right knee hugged into the heart. Extend the left leg out to the front. Lower it down to the mat. Inhale, right knee a little bit higher towards the chest. Exhale, right knee crosses over the body. Arms go down at a T as we gaze over the right shoulder. Where's the breath? Use that inhale, lengthen the body. We're still lengthening from the hips. We want both shoulders really rooted down to the earth. Every exhale, a chance to surrender deeper. Go 
Coming back to center. Knees up to the heart. Wrap the arms around the shins. Nice little ball. Maybe forehead gently kisses the knees. This time, keeping left knee into the heart. Right leg extends out to the front. We lower it down. Inhale, left knee a little higher. Exhale, left knee crosses the body. Arms at a T. We gaze over, left shoulder. Root down through the shoulders. Feel the mat. Always feel the connection, the grounding into the earth. Feel support, weight beneath you. Coming back to center. Knees up to heart center. Wrap the arms around the shins. Nice little ball. Take a big inhale. Fill the body all the way to the top. Then we hold the breath once again. Full circle. We're back in our kumbhaka. Except now as you hold the breath, squeeze every muscle in the body. The biceps, the core, the muscles in our face, in our toes, in our fingers. Everything's squeezing. Everything's tight. And we're holding the breath. For three, for two, a little bit harder, for one, and release. <sighs> Legs out to the front. Let the feet flop out to either side. Palms down by our side. Let them face up. Relax the shoulders as you close the eyes. We're coming into our last. Our most important, my favorite asana for today. Let go of the breath. Let go for control of the muscles in your body. Sink down into the mat. Keep that awareness inside. Really begin to notice sensations going on through your body. Feeling the weight of your body as it gets heavier. As it begins to sink deeper down into the mat. Making this time here, this moment all about you. Calm body, calm mind. Shavasana.
Gently begin taking deeper breaths, breathing life back into your body. Gently wiggling our fingers, our toes. Beginning to invite that movement slowly back into our muscles. Arms reach up overhead. Nice morning stretch. Lengthening through the fingers, through the toes. Gently lifting the knees up towards the heart center. As we roll to the right side, cradling the head with the bottom arms. We close the eyes, coming into a moment, moment of gratitude, so important. First, tell yourself, tell yourself, thank you for taking the time today to do something that was good for my body. Telling yourself, thank you for taking the time today to do something that was good for my mind. And then, thinking hard, think about two things in your life, two things today, two things that you are just truly, truly grateful for. And with the eyes closed, awareness staying inside, slowly make your way up. Nice, comfortable, cross-legged seated position. We connect the thumb and index finger together. This time palms face down on the knees. This is my favorite way to end. This roots our energy down grounds us a little bit more. Let's take one cycle of breath here. And bringing the palms to kiss. Holding them heart center, Anjali Mudra. Leaving you guys a nice little quote today. When we are depressed, we are living in the past. When we are anxious, we are living in the future. When we are at peace, we are truly living right here in the present. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Let's seal our practice together with a nice group om and three shantis for peace. Big inhale for om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. A little smile on our face. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. It's been an honor. I thank each and every one of you for watching the video. If you feel good right now, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Weekly videos uploaded the best I can. And I really thank you guys for watching and being part of my practice. Have a wonderful rest of your week.